Now, here's there is another simulation that I created myself. I want to show you, okay, uh, more clearly uh, about the meaning of projectile motion. Okay, I want you to pay attention to the arrows. Okay, the vector, the velocity vector, and the acceleration vector. Uh, uh, so that uh, you understand uh, more clearly about projectile motion. Okay, please watch the simulation first. Hi, good day everyone. Projectile motion is a two-dimensional motion. The velocity has two components. The X component velocity is always constant because assuming no air resistance. The Y component velocity is always changing because of gravitational pull. At the highest position, it only has X component velocity. The Y component is zero. Throughout the whole projectile motion, the acceleration is always constant and directing downwards because gravity is everywhere. Even at the top position, the acceleration is not zero because gravity still exists. Bye bye. Okay, so that's the animation just now. Can you see what's happening? Okay, let us uh, look uh, once again. Just closer. Nice. Okay. Now look at here. Yeah. Uh, this uh, this uh, person okay is uh, being bombarded at an angle, right? Bombarded at an angle. So uh, this is a projectile motion. Okay. Projectile motion is a two dimension motion. All right. I want you to look at uh, now. This is about the velocity. All right. This is about the velocity. Please look clearly about, uh, this is the arrow, yeah? This is the uh, resultant velocity from X component velocity and Y component velocity, all right? You have X component velocity, you see that? You have X component velocity and Y component velocity. So, uh, uh, look at, okay, first I want you to look at the X component. Is there any change in the length of X component velocity. Yeah, this is about velocity. Is there any change in the length of X component velocity? Uh, do you see that? How's the length of X component velocity? Uh, how's that? Is, is it any change? Is it change? Yeah. Uh, when, when, during the projector motion, does the X component velocity change? It's not changing, isn't it? You see that? It's not changing. The length is not changing. Ah, because X component velocity is constant. All right. Ah. All right. You see the X component velocity? It's not changing. The length is not changing. Ah, okay. Now, how about the Y component? I want you to look at the Y components. Yeah, look at the Y component. Yeah. Now, when you look at the Y component. So, First thing is, you learn just now the X component velocity does not change. The VX is constant. Yeah, VX is constant. X component is a constant velocity. How about the Y component? Is there any change in the length? You see that? Ah, uh, no. Again. Yeah, again. Maybe, yeah. So, initially, the, you see the length, the Y component velocity is very long. So, when the ball, when the object goes up, what happened to the length? Become shorter, you see, become shorter, become shorter, decrease the y component velocity, decrease until at the maximum height, velocity becomes zero. Vy equal to zero. Ah, uh, uh, now Vy heading downwards, you see that? Vy heading downwards become faster and faster. Vy increases. So, this is the y component velocity, it's a free form motion. Okay? Uh, that's why Vx is constant. Yeah? X component velocity is constant, but Vy is changing because the Y component is a free-form motion yeah? affected by gravity. 
the S component velocity is constant because assume no air resistance and also uh, not affected by gravity yeah? because gravity only exists in the Y component, in the vertical component. Okay? Look again, yeah? Look again. Ah. Oh, sorry. Again, yeah? So you see that? Constant velocity, uh, but the Y component is uh, changing. S component is constant. Ah. You see the maximum height? Uh, at the maximum height, uh, the only ve uh, velocity is only the S component. At the maximum height, at the maximum height, it has the uh, X component velocity. Uh, yeah, because the S component velocity, Vx is constant. Vx is constant. That's why the velocity at the maximum height, velocity, the velocity at the maximum height is not zero. It, it is only the Y component velocity zero. But the X component is constant velocity. Uh, so velocity at that, at that part, is only the x component velocity. Alright? Uh, so v equal to vx, but vy equal to 0 at maximum height. Uh, okay? Uh, just want you to be clear about this, yeah? Uh, constant. x component is constant, but y component is uh, decreasing. Decreasing until it becomes 0. vy becomes 0. Uh, x component is always constant. Uh, velocity okay and then uh, now y velocity increasing accelerate faster and faster downward okay s component is always constant okay now uh, later on i want you to look at the acceleration uh, this time is about acceleration look at the acceleration uh, acceleration acceleration is always constant no matter which position, the acceleration is always constant and always directed downward. Why is it directed downwards? Because uh, of gravity. Uh, because um, uh, the acceleration is all due to gravity. The S component acceleration is zero because assume no air resistance. But the Y component acceleration is uh, due to gravity, negative G. Uh, look at the simulation. Look at the arrow. Look at the arrow. You see that? You see the arrow? Initially, uh, at the initial position, the acceleration is always directed downward. Uh, negative G. You see that? You see the yellow line? It's always constant at all position. The acceleration is always constant at all position because it always AY equal to negative G. That's all. AX is equal to zero. There's no X component acceleration. Even at the maximum height, you see that? Even at the maximum height, oh, sorry, what happened? Ah, you see, even at the maximum height, there is still acceleration due to gravity. Uh, a, a y is still negative g. Uh, you see that? Acceleration is constant throughout the whole projectile motion. That's the arrow. Okay? So, acceleration is always constant and directed downward because of gravity. That's all for projectile motions. Now, let us look at the um, equations for projectile motions.